Hey guys, today we're going to be going over the top 10 updates in PTFS of all time. Featuring Simon Patron. Let's go. Starting at number 10, we got water. It's more of a broad category of updates as opposed to just one, but I feel like they all deserve to be in this video right here. So let me explain. This includes sea planes introduced in late 2020 with the addition of five converted light aircraft for 95 Robux, including the 172 and Twin Otter, allowing you to practice your landings on water. We also got a few new sea bases to spawn these planes at. Very cool. But more significantly, we were introduced to the Coast Guard system in mid-2021, which brought us a new rescue helicopter with a functioning winch, whole-ass boat, which you've never seen before, numerous new sea bases, including an oil rig, which is so cool, fog controls as well, which we'll expand on later, and most importantly, the ability to swim. Yeah, that wasn't a thing before. This also allowed players to ditch their aircraft in the ocean and be rescued by a fellow Coast Guard. Or not. Very valid update in my opinion. I think it deserves to be on this list because it adds just a lot more versatility to the game. Rolling in next, we have the addition of 3D cockpits. The key components are modeled in detail and the aircraft like the AN225 and 727 have a cockpit that's really a great representation of the real life aircraft. This is a significant improvement from the previous 2D decals, creating a much more authentic cockpit environment. Now for all you creative folks or players who just want a bit more customization in game, this is the update for you. So while this may seem not too big for some people, I passionately believe that it deserves a place on this list. Um, yeah. This feature allows the owner of a private server to select and manage each aspect of the game in regards to the time of day, weather, wind, and even how long it takes for unused aircraft to despawn. This helps me personally when I'm recording a video. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Next up, we have aircraft remodels such as the P-38 Lightning, the F-22 Raptor, the Learjet, and more. PTFS has been around for a long time, and with every new aircraft, the standard of how good each aircraft is improves. So comparing new aircraft, like the C-130, to older ones, to say, like, Derek's creation, you can see a massive difference in build quality. Luckily for us, the developers have slowly been updating some of the oldest aircraft one at a time to bring them up to scratch, and make them shiny and pretty. Sometimes they even get some extra features too, such as new flaps, flares, doors, and whatever else. It's not quite as special as a whole new plane, but with aircraft being the core of PCFS identity, I think that this update absolutely deserves this spot on the list. The first feature we'll cover is Advanced Mode. Advanced Mode changes the way the control inputs affect the aircraft. With Advanced Mode disabled, the aircraft will change its pitch and roll to climb or bank towards the point that the cursor is pointing to. When it's enabled, moving the mouse up and down controls the aircraft's pitch, and moving it left and right controls the roll, and then A and D control the rudder. This allows you to do loops, rolls, and so much more. Next in line, we have aircraft landing speeds. Once the indicator is visible, you can lower your nose and the game smoothly transitions you into taxi mode as the nose wheel touches down. This was a significant improvement from the old system where the nose would drop instantly when you went below your stall speed. And finally, also from the same update, we have the shared cockpit feature. The pilot can now pass control to the co-pilot entirely or grant them access to the aircraft systems. With full control, the co-pilot gets to fly the aircraft as if they were in the pilot seat. And with limited control, they can manage the gear, flaps, and other features like smoke and flares. This update added an extra layer of cooperative gameplay to the flying experience. And next, we have the much anticipated mobile support. This feature was highly requested and for quite some time, but the wait was definitely worth it. I was on holiday, which meant I had a few weeks of free time, so Orange and I teamed up to get mobile support ready for the game. We worked basically all day, every day, until it was complete. This feature not only massively expanded the game's reach, but allowed existing players the convenience of playing on the go. Next update. 
next update, we have entirely new aircraft, such as the AN-225, the 727 and the F-35. PTFS is nothing without its stars of the show, and every play in the game has been specifically chosen to best provide players with a diverse selection of unique and fun aircraft from around the world. This means that every update that comes out with a new plane is a special event to be celebrated, and you can bet that with each new aircraft, servers will be filled with that specific plane as players work out every tiny detail and quirk that's held within it. It's for all these reasons that we've placed new aircraft here on our list. This was introduced in mid-2021 and added tilted gear to the game. I don't feel like I have to explain what that is, but you know. While this may not seem too significant, I believe it deserves to be on the list because it truly just enhances the smoothness of your landings in larger aircraft and just adds more oomph to that touchdown. Personally, I think this is one step closer to more advanced systems such as gear animation or maybe even suspension. No pressure. So number two, we got ATC. Ah, uh, you gotta hear me out on this one. So, after the addition of Free Cam, which is exclusively accessed through the Game Pass, there's absolutely no going back, and I truly believe that it deserves a spot on this list. I remember back in the day hopping onto a skydiving plane with my binoculars, ready to get that aerial shot, but with Free Cam, you don't have to anymore. Now you can adjust your speed, field of vision, and zoom around the island to get those stunning shots, and you could also control people in planes uh, from a tower. All for the low price of 65 Robux. This is 100% valid in my eyes coming from someone who spends a lot of time creating in PTFS. Your opinion might be different, but this is my opinion. So. And finally, we have new islands. Nothing on this list can compare to the importance of PTFS's different islands. They serve as the canvas for our adventures and are all expertly crafted to allow for almost any kind of roleplay, whilst being filled with all kinds of Easter eggs and secrets. Orenji and the USS Gerald R. Ford were the last map updates and are absolute highlights of the game's map. These additions breathe vitality into a game, sparking renewed interest and excitement. They offer a chance for developers to flex their creativity, crafting immersive uncharted territories that keep players engaged and coming back for more. Now that we're done with the top 10, here's some honorable mentions, making sure we don't like forget anything. So here we go. New liveries with actual text, and pretty creative iterations of airline names, flaps to help with those landings. New camera modes especially. Camera lock mode to about X on your keyboard is actually kind of sick. The addition of the Avro Vulcan and victory for Vulcan. What an amazing cause. Sam, this is for you. VTOL's on here too with the addition of the Harrier and F-35. And ground crew, the perfect way to annoy your friends. That's it for this video. I'd like to thank Sam Sage and Patreon for helping me out with this, featuring in this video. Go subscribe to them right now. And uh, yeah, comment what you think down below. Watch my other videos right here. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later.